back to Cinema Corner. I'm Blake, and I'm here with my co-host, Josh. And today we are going to review the Napoleon movie. Uh, one film that we did not think we were going to end up seeing. And then the did trailers, not. they got us. They kept showing them after the football games. And we kept texting each other, being like, hey. Kind of looks good. Yeah, kind of looks, looks good, good. man. Kind of looking like a twist there. Like, we got to see it in IMAX. And so now, here we are. We saw and then plus, saw Ridley Scott was attached. So it's like, oh, he's directing it. The name did Probably going to look good. Interest. Yes. Made it spicy enough. Um, next, start off by saying that I did not know it was actually an Apple film. That's how little I knew about going into this. That was an Apple production. Uh, left the film feeling like it was more of an A24 film. But <laughs> it did have elements of the. It had elements. I don't know, man. There was definitely it was an A that produced it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so yeah, you know, it, how did you feel? How did you feel going into it and then leaving? Uh, so going in, like you said, the trailer they brought me in. I thought it looked good. I saw Ridley Scott. Obviously, Joaquin Phoenix plays uh, Napoleon. Uh, Vanessa Kirby plays his wife. Yeah, Josephine. Josephine, there we go. Uh, Vanessa Kirby for, you know, if you saw the brilliant film that is Hobbs and Shaw. Uh, she plays Shaw's brother or sister, my bad. Um, and other than that, it's it. I don't I didn't really recognize anybody else. No, throughout not the movie. Not like big names that us right. could really know from the name alone. So it's mainly just those two, and uh, like we said, we saw the name Joaquin Phoenix, we saw Ridley Scott, I was interested. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought the opening scene was, it definitely got me like, okay, we're pretty interesting. Uh, it goes into the uh, execution of the Queen, um, and I was like, okay, interesting. You see, uh, you know, a little guillotine action, classic. Mm-hmm. Um, let them know this is French. Yeah, and let them know it's rated R. Let them know. Yep. Let them know. Um, and then from there, it kind of goes... Didn't know Napoleon had a brother. Had no idea. Also, don't know how much of this was accurate. A uh, good amount was not accurate. We'll get into we that. know. We'll get into that. Uh, but uh, definitely didn't know some of the uh, things in here. Um, but going into it, I thought it was it was going to be interesting for sure, historically, and uh, you know, just visually going to look good. Um, at the end of it, like you said, definitely a lot more A twenty four elements than I was expecting there to be, um, which did not love that. Um, was not the most historically accurate, I do not believe. And uh, overall, it had like a couple good battle scenes, but not a whole lot of battle scenes. And uh, I walked away extremely, extremely disappointed in this movie. Um, Just thought Napoleon's character was incredibly weird um, that I did not uh, did not appreciate at all. And this isn't coming from like some historical like Napoleon conquered, blah, blah. It was more just like, I guarantee nobody ever acted like this anytime. Um, it was just weird. Um, way more cheeks getting clapped than I wanted to see. Um, mm-hmm. Just did not appreciate that at all. Was not intrigued with yeah. that. No. Um, that was a jump scare, if we're going to be honest. It, it was. And uh, yeah. just overall, I, I just did not enjoy this movie. Like I said, there was maybe four battle scenes in the entire movie. Um, yeah. Yeah. And they visually were okay for the most part. I thought the the one that stood out to me was the one on the water. Um, easily was my favorite one, and I thought that was really good. Um, but other than that, yeah, Ridley Scott has uh, completely just fallen off. He is, uh, he's off his rocker, his past movie, The Last Duel, and other stuff. Yeah, he, he just does not produce good movies anymore. Um, I was incredibly disappointed with this movie. And uh, yeah, that's I'll let you talk about it. Yeah, I think it's truly incredible that you can both l- lose. <laughs> two, there's two sides you could have won on this. There's the full win the people over that don't really care about the history element and just wanted to see a good movie. Um, and then also the people that were going into this wanting to get the historical element of Napoleon, one of the most, I mean, historical figure, figures in the world. And also... I mean, the most almost documented world leader of all time. So I think it's kind of ironic that Ridley Scott chooses to make a very inaccurate film. Um, full context, 
I run, Napoleon is one guy I don't know too much about. Never gave a fuck about him. I was like, he's just a midget. Agreed. Don't give a shit. You know what I mean? I'll be honest. Turns out he so wasn't even that short. No. No, he's not. It was just more of a... From my knowledge, it was just kind of just joking on him. Yeah. You know? Um, also, I'm, I'm pretty sure he was a weird guy. So that was one part of the film that was like... At least there was a lot of rumors of him being a weird guy. So he definitely went hard on that. And I think it was definitely probably Ridley Scott barely knowing anything actually about Napoleon and heard this guy's weird. Let's get Phoenix to come play this character and be like the Joker, but Napoleon version. Uh, That's basically the film. Uh, I went into this. Yeah. Wanting, I was hoping that it would be good. Um, And it just felt like Apple just wanted to get a big director a big title for a movie and a big actor and let's just pump something out uh i felt like a lot of pumping going on yeah i felt like in terms of (laughs) yes several dives several dives um in terms of things that almost every movie typically does a good job on i felt like this movie did bad on it felt like they cared about one thing and one thing only on this was making sure it was beautifully shot so they could say it was potentially shot on an iPhone. That's it. <laughs> Where the hell was like the makeup team for 90% of this film? Why was Joaquin Phoenix the same age looking age for Napoleon from his twenties till he died? The also- only makeup they did just to finish my point, was just roughing his hair up to show his already natural receding hairline the actor has. That was the only makeup they did for Napoleon the entire film. And then for Josephine, it was her makeup at the start of the film when Napoleon was checking her out. That's it. That is all the makeup team did. That is just so shitty of apple to just dare release that like if i'm in the movie industry i would absolutely hate this film almost 90 percent of this film i would fucking hate because it's so disrespectful of every aspect that normally you see get shown love that a lot of people really don't acknowledge till maybe like you know the oscars and stuff for those categories but really i mean it was insane to me that walking phoenix didn't even get touched up in any way the entire film and it also made it hard to tell that time was passing on because josephine didn't even age once neither did napoleon but other actors around them did like some of them they pick and chose which actors to actually age um like napoleon's right hand man his like advisor that was negotiating um with prussia was He was getting aged, but Napoleon didn't, Josephine didn't, all these other guys didn't. Um, What's his name? Uh, For uh, Russia, the leader, I think Tsar or something, can't remember off the top of my head. He didn't get aged either. Yeah, he didn't get aged as well throughout the film, which made it hard to tell what he was doing. No idea. Because he's fucking Napoleon's like upcoming rival throughout the film. And a, you know, big figure as well during that time. So, yeah. Uh, what were you gonna say? Sorry, I was just trying to have to finish oh, that point. Also, I, I'm, I'm, I've allegedly uh, Napoleon was not from France. I don't believe. Yeah. Um, so it makes sense that he didn't have a French accent, I guess. Um, but I can tell you where I'm confident Napoleon wasn't from. Joaquin Phoenix is not where mm-hmm. Napoleon came from. Joaquin Phoenix literally just put on an old outfit and said, "I don't need any makeup." I don't even need to learn an accent. I'm going to literally talk like I am Joaquin Phoenix. And that's he good sounded, enough. He sounded more like the Joker than a Frenchman in any he, way. He it was hard. Yeah, like what? himself. He talked like was... himself <laughs> and his goofy scenes when he was trying to make Napoleon look like a weirdo. Joker yeah. came out. Like, not to just keep reference. It literally was that. It, it, and... was, yeah. it was terrible. Like, hit. Literally, Joaquin Phoenix, I think they were just like, hey, we want you to play Napoleon. It starts shooting tomorrow. Don't worry about learning anything. 
just show up and read a script, talk literally like yourself, and it'll be fine. Exactly. And I felt like acting for Josephine. I loved her. I thought she was great. I just thought it was annoying that they didn't age her and really show her love. Like, the story clearly focused a lot around her, definitely. But it did not show her love, I think, of how it should have been done. Um, no, I mean, there was there there was no... It was just bad. I, I, did, I just thought yeah. it focused so, on a love story without having any attempts of actually making it interesting or good. Yeah, and on top of that, very historically inaccurate. I mean, it starts off with a historical inaccuracy. Napoleon wasn't there <laughs> for yeah, the yeah. killing of the queen. So it starts yeah. off with what I knew that. Um, as well as Let's just talk about Ridley Scott saying, fuck you to everybody. <laughs> hey, how do we show Napoleon quickly won in Egypt? Yeah, he shot some cannons at the Great Pyramids. Yep. He shot cannons and hit the pyramids. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? I mean, that yeah, is Michael did. Bay level of, yeah, I just did that. It was Transformers 2 reminiscent. <laughs> I mean, like... Me and my girlfriend both looked at each other like, what the hell just happened? Like, you don't even have to know anything to know seeing that scene. You're like, I don't think that happened. <laughs> you know? Also, I just don't think they did a... I don't think it showed at all how Napoleon actually, like, conquered how much... Or, like... No. He legitimately, like, had the world almost. It. Yes. I don't think it portrays that at all. Like, you watch that and you're like... He won a couple battles, and it seemed like he kept France under control. I mean, you skipped his great win in Egypt. That's one of them. The fact that he also won in Africa by just shooting a pyramid. Literally, uh, yeah. Like, it did not show. You have no... If, if you watch that movie and have no understanding of Napoleon, which I have very yeah. little, you'd have no idea that he actually legitimately was, like, the guy, like, ruling the planet almost. Like, he had so much conquered. You'd have no yeah. idea after that movie. All you would and, know is that he's weird and wanted a kid yeah and then the weird parts was they had the weird sex scenes where i mean everyone's clearly clothed and then it's just joaquin phoenix thighs slapping against her thighs loudly yeah. and fast where the old couple next to me were even stunned too stunned to speak and that was kind of funny did you like lean over and be like remember when that was you guys yeah, for real. I was like, hey, throwback, right? <laughs> hey, you remember those days? Remember those Remember those glory days? I bet you were better than that. I, b I bet tonight you're going to give that thing a whirl. <laughs> oh, anyways, um, so yeah, the actions. Um, I liked the bit of gore it had. You know, I mean, the horse getting a cannon shot in was, that was, it was decent. Yeah, it was cool. That's a wild um, <laughs> And they definitely didn't do, like, over-the-top gore, which I think is always nice. I like just yeah, the nice definitely. mix in there. Um, the action itself was solid. Um, like you said, the ice scene was great. However, where it could have been a lot better was it, it did... Only one of those battles really even... The whole point was Napoleon was a mastermind of his time, and that's how he won the battles a lot of times. One with having less by being great tactics. Rarely did you actually feel that, especially how they make him at the end lose. Um, not great. Doesn't do so well. I mean, the only time that they're trying to like at the end, wrap it up to make it seem like, man, yeah, Europe really just needs to get rid of this guy. And that's like their best attempt saying that was the impact he had that everybody rallied up to get rid of him. I mean, also, like, didn't do anything with any of the children he had. Didn't do anything with the children that Josephine previously had. You see them, and then they disappear yep. throughout the Gone. entire film. Gone. No mention of it. So even if you want to go about historical accuracy, just movie accuracy, it struggles. You lose all, no clue what the hell happens. Just no. no mention of anything. No mention even of his wife, that his second wife he marries after Josephine. No mention of her at the end of the film. Nothing happens at all. It's just he loses, boom, dies. That's all. It's it was it was bad. 
It was really yeah. bad. Yeah. Very disappointing. It, yeah, it just genuinely did not have... Yes, good input. It was just not... Uh, it was not at all what we thought going into it, and uh, I don't know if anybody was happy with that. Like, you just... It was not good. Just not good. Really, Scott, cool. like I said, his past movies have not been good at all. Uh, very worried about Gladiator 2, which is actually starting to shoot soon. I heard from an inside source today. I learned about that. Yeah, uh, they're I'm shooting not see over it. in Europe. Um, but uh, do not have a lot of confidence in Ridley Scott. No. Yeah, not at all. He's definitely on the list of directors that if I see on there, I'm just not watching the movie. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Like, he's that, this should be a rocker. career-ending movie right here. Yeah, and I would I would argue that Joaquin Phoenix needs definitely needs some repercussions for that mailed in performance to just sign up to be like I'm go- I'm not gonna put any effort into my character I'm gonna be me in a costume essentially and we'll call it good right kneel over repercussions on that so yeah uh, I'm sure he got the bag for it which was probably his probably. main motivation I'm sure Apple and Tim Cook was like here we're just Ridley Scott Napoleon. Joaquin Phoenix, and it worked. It got us in. I mean, they have a hell of a uh, marketing team, that's for sure. Yeah. Like, it, it just sucks, because the beginning, I was like, the, you know, decapitation of the queen, I was, like, interested. And then it had, like, the little Napoleon. Like, it had, like, a whole thing in the beginning mm-hmm. about, like, a couple words, kind of like Oppenheimer. And then it had, like, Napoleon written in, like, a, you yeah, know, one of those quill pens. And it, like, burned and away. And I was like, that yeah. looks fire. And then we go to decapitation, and I was like, okay. This seems interesting. And then from there on, that shit was just downhill quick. Yeah, the only love and Very passion quick. was shown in the first five minutes of the movie. And yeah. something happened. I don't know what happened in this film. It clearly was meant for greatness, and it just it never reached downhill. anything. It didn't win a single battle, let's just say that. Yeah. Yeah, I would have rather had just uh, barely any action, serious, drama, dramatic movie about Napoleon's life than this. Yeah, nah, actually, it would have been way better. Like, l- literally, that, that scene with the water was the only good scene that was, like, it shot really well right now, obviously. It is clearly showing his IQ level of battle, of leading them directly where he wants them. And then his, like, ruthlessness to be, like, they're all running away. And he's, like, change the cannons, like, where they need to be shooting. We do not let them get away. Yep. And then, like, when he talks to the next, like, emperor or the general, because the Prussia guy didn't show up. And he just, like, starts off, like, I showed you mercy. Just so you know, I could have taken your whole army. I was like, okay. That part was the beginning five minutes, and then that little, like, five minutes. Yeah, it had, it had done small that. moments. Like, even with him having the discussions being, like, they're telling him you're going to have to become emperor for them to respect you. And he fucking loses a shit about the fact you guys think you're so great about your boats. Yeah, I was like, okay, that's a nice scene, and then it just constantly would flop right afterwards, and or right before it, it just it something happened. I don't know where the failure was, but someone tried making this a good movie. So props to them, <laughs> but there was definitely plenty of people that it, failed. He got lost. He got lost. Yeah. Um, what would you rate this movie? Honestly, I think like four point eight out of 10 give it props for it did have some really well shot scenes and like you said i thought josephine vanessa kirby was pretty solid um i just have to give props i have to give props for the you know the scenes that were shot well in the battle scenes for the most part the battle scenes were pretty solid just that one stood out for sure so i just gotta give him props for that so yeah yeah i think she's the only one that comes out of this with the major win if i was casting for a movie i would i would start looking at her for casting um i'd give this a 5.5 out of 10 i think it barely reaches that you know our version of it being fresh category of just saying it wasn't like i absolutely hated it but it certainly i didn't like it but the action there was enough good in the action scenes there's enough moments that you just wish it was more absolutely absolutely and uh so that's gonna do it for this review uh as always, comment down below if you saw Napoleon. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, you know, are we wrong? Do you agree? Were you disappointed? Let us know down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one.